show. Whether we're five round four or two, grab the gold. Let's go, who the fights? Yes, that show. Get it popularity, wanna overthrow. From the territory, reaching to across the globe. Time to make history, let the world go. Never underestimate the power of a team. Standing united to realize one dream. Anyone who got it before would not believe. Who the fights make excitement extreme. Ladies and gentlemen, know you ready. Gather around that is it's okay. Gonna deliver the fight or four cards, not to stage fight. Oh no, no. Ladies and gentlemen, know you ready. Gather around that is it's okay. Gonna deliver the fight or four cards, not to stage fight. Oh no, no. Ladies and gentlemen, know you ready. The way of the warrior. Win and keep it home. One wants to take it back to Pendleton. Joshua Loco here facing off against Lewis, Virgin, Heather. The backstory on this is Jewel came to Virgin. The medicine man said, I can't sleep. Virgin says, I got just a thing for you. And here they are in the cage tonight. Virgin in the blue and white shorts. Jewel in the black shorts. And here we go. Jewel known for his stand-up. Starts to go spin around. Virgin says, no, I'm going to come in and duke it out. And he's throwing heavy leather. Comes in, throws a knee. Jewel comes in, wraps around, gets a body lock. He is perpendicular, which is typically a power spot. But Virgin's fighting around, getting pale, Heather. And he gets a takedown. Virgin on top all over Jewel. Virgin now, moving around on top, Jewel. Way out, even giving, looks like heel kicks to Virgin. Jewel rolls around on top, starts going around the back side of Virgin. This is Jewel's game here on the ground. Virgin's a tough kid on his feet, Heather, but he is just all over the back of Virgin right now. Jewel trying to scare that rear naked choke. Virgin says, I am the medicine man. This isn't over till I say it's over. Gets up on top. Jewel now on his back. Virgin posturing up. Big left, big right. Virgin says, let's start over. Here we this go. This is a good spot for her, Virgin. Virgin likes it on feet. Big right hand just blocked by Jewel. Virgin comes in, throws a knee in that kick. She has to watch out for those hits. Virgin, known for the guy that keeps walking forward when he's getting socked up because he just doesn't stop. And just like that, right, left, right, left. 
Jewel's got to stay out of that pocket. The best thing he can do is take Virgin down. Virgin now traps Jewel on the cage, gives him the business. Right hand, then a knee. Jewel gets around to the side of Virgin, but Virgin's great in getting in perpendicular and parallel, Heather. He certainly is, and he has him in his corner right now with Coach Joseph Milani. Yes, he has an anaconda choke on Jewel right now. Virgin needs to walk around, throw that right leg over the hip or hamstring of Jewel and walk around, but too late now, Jewel gets on top side control. Short time in his first round. Jewel, left hand, left hand, left hand, all to the ribs of Virgin on that right hand side, and that's it, and a round number really one. Really good back and forth round, Trent. Who do you think won that round? I'd have to give it to Jewel, I'll tell you what, he came out, he took a little bit of punishment on his feet early from Virgin, but he ended up dominating that round, almost in a full mount, getting back position all over Virgin on the ground. It's clear now at this point, Heather, in my opinion, that Virgil needs to keep it on his feet to have the most, the biggest advantage. What do you think? I, I think he certainly does realize that himself will stand him back up. And I'll tell you what, Heather, looking at both these guys, they both look like they're in excellent, excellent condition. They're ready to go round two. Dave Hagen says corners out of the cage. We're about ready to get it on. Virgin in the white shorts, Jewel in the black, and here we go. Touch up, center cage. Jewel comes out swinging. Left, right, left, right, throwing straight down the middle. Virgin's throwing around the outside. Both of them are effective at landing good shots. Jewel now comes up, ties up Virgil on the cage. I'm very surprised to see that Jewel wanted to stand with him at all, but... I'll tell you what, Jewel dug a trench, got right in there and stood his ground, Heather, big props to him. And that can mentally break a fighter when you're actually giving it back to him when he thinks he's got the upper hand on, so to speak. Virgin now hanging on to that guillotine choke, has a leg trapped in and this could be it! Referee Dave Hagen taking a close look at it. Virgin has the right arm of Jewel trapped in. It's not a for sure thing yet, Heather, but I'll tell you what, it's tight. That certainly does look tight, Trent. Jewel starts to step around, gets full mount. He needs to get to a side mount here, Heather. He can't stay in a full mount. There he knows. Now he gets the side control. Jewel stand mounted at this point. It's a tough spot when you have your head controlled. Usually you'll see a fighter jump around to side control, poke his head out, then regain that full mount position. And Virgin's using that head, Heather, he just might get a sweep off it. This is another well-matched fight by P promoter and matchmaker Derek Bruner here tonight at Buddha Fights 10. I'll tell you what, this guy's just on his game, Heather. His time has come. Virgin. He's doing what he's supposed to. Jewel <laughs> countering so far, but he still got his head locked. You know, Jewel has position right now, but he's not doing any kind of damage, and there he goes. He pops out. Jewel now on top. Virgin on his back. Jewel half pop, half cock, they call it. He ready to drop some punishment. Now is looking for an arm triangle on Virgin. That's a tough, that's a tough sell from that position, Heather. You usually got to jump sides and get in side position on the side of that arm triangle to finish it. I'll tell you what, Trent, there's one thing I know about Luis Virgin. That kid's got nothing but heart. And here we go, he just got a reversal. What do you say about that, Heather? Very nice move. He's not in his ideal corner, which would be his own, but he is on top. Now, now he's on his back. Sean Jewell's on his back in his own corner. Josh Jewell. In front of his corner man, Sean Jewell, his father, and we have short time in the second round. 
That's it. Round number two in the books, and we're going to our first third round here, Heather, of this Brutal Fight 10. What a night. What a night. I'll tell you what. Today, beautiful Bend, Oregon. I was out in the sunshine. It was about 60 degrees, but it felt like it was about 75. Both of these guys in excellent shape, Heather. Sean Jewell fighting out of his hometown here in Bend, Oregon. Virgin coming to us from, I guess you could say, northeastern Oregon in the Tri-Cities area. And it's fair to say, Heather, both these guys came ready to rumble. Here we are, round number three. Dave Hagen in the center. Let's get it on. Jewel comes out. Touch up. He's in the center. Virgin around the out. Takes low kick. Starts throwing big shots. All of them around the bend. Hooks. Virgin is a definite hooker. He is coming from the outside. Jewel likes to throw down the middle. Virgin backing up Jewel. Jewel rocking and reeling from those big hooks. Virgin grabs hold of the head of Jewel, drops to his butt, looks like he's gonna try the guillotine again. Jewel jumps the full mount and pops out. Virgin had the head of Sean Jewel for a minute. Sean Jewel said, no, I played this game last round, I'm popping out early. Sean Jewel on top, giving Virgin the business in his own corner. And here he is, Heather, in front of his own hometown crowd. He can taste victory at this point. He is trying to posture up. Virgin doing everything he can, not letting him to get the posture and the leverage of that big heavy leather that's going to drop down on him and here it comes it's rain and leather virgin on his back he's got to do something and he does he disrupts Jewel just get on a tear to where he's rattling off a few punches and Virgin will do just enough to knock him off his giddy up. Jewel now on the back of Virgin. Virgin, new kicks out on the right leg. Virgin in his corner listening very closely to coach Justin Milani trying to get out of that. And he. Coach Milani, another professional here from the local ranks, huh, Heather? This is not looking good. Jewel reaches around, wrenches around. Virgin, Virgin still fighting tough, Heather. This kid has more heart than I don't know what of. He certainly does, Trent. You better watch out. Virgin is going to square up and just might get positioned. Jewel now realizes that. Short time in this third round. And it looks to me at this point, Virgin has the top position. That's it. That is over. We've got three rounds to save the books. Now it's all in the judges' hands, Heather. A great fight. Fight, fight by both of these fighters here tonight for the fans. Win or lose on either side. Great fight. Head Commissioner Randy Westbrook down, adding up the scores. And I'll tell you what, Heather, only about half the time do I 
half the time of the real close fights do I ever agree with the state of Oregon. To the cage they go, center cage. And what a card this has been so far, Heather. Jewel picking up his second win here in his own hometown, and it's got to feel good. energy drink ready to drink and what do you guys do here at visions man sling glass uh blow glass sell glass uh, do you you blow glass can yeah. we take a look at some of your setup well, you not here vision smoke shop redmond oregon 231 southwest 6th street downtown redmond across the street from sears <laughs> Fight me! 